Hi, I'm Akina Chikata, Senior Product Marketing Manager at Mark Monitor. By now, you've likely heard about the deep web and the dark net, but what are they? And should brand owners be concerned about monitoring and enforcing in these areas? You betcha! The surface web is what we consider regular web pages that can be indexed by search engines. However, the deep web, unlike the surface web, is comprised of unindexed web pages, dynamic content, and otherwise gated information inaccessible via search engines. What many people don't realize is that most of the internet is actually in the deep web, and mainstream browsers will only give you access to 4% of the internet. A wide range of information can be found in the deep web, including academic resources, subscription information, and conference proceedings. Unfortunately, the deep web is also where unindexed websites sell counterfeit goods, collect user credentials, disseminate malware, and conduct consumer scams. Internet users are directed to the deep web through a variety of methods including spam of all types, ads, and cyber squatted domain names. So that's the deep web. Now, what exactly is the darknet? The darknet is a network that can be accessed via the Tor, and there are other alternative tools such as I2P or Trails. Tor was originally developed by the U.S. Naval Research Labs to protect intelligence communication. And today, approximately 2.5 million people access it on a daily basis. The main purpose behind why people use Tor is to enable anonymous communication. This is especially appealing to strong privacy advocates who don't want their online actions to be tracked by advertisers and officials. It's also used by journalists when searching for dangerous and sensitive information, as well as criminals who want to profit while maintaining their anonymity. Given how easy it is to download Tor, it's no surprise that more and more people are accessing the dark net to find underground marketplaces where counterfeit, pirated, and illicit goods are being sold. As a brand owner, it is important for you to know how your brand is being represented in both the deep web and the dark net. While monitoring and enforcing against abuse on the surface web is a requirement for most companies these days, policing the deep web is actually just as important, if not more so, as offenders are actively seeking to evade detection. The good news is that for abuse occurring in the deep web, standard enforcement strategies can be generally used. However, Due to the anonymity of the darknet, it's imperative to reset expectations regarding enforcement, as the emphasis will be on monitoring and understanding the scope of the problem. To find out more, take a look at the recording on YouTube of the webinar Elisa Cooper and I did on this topic. You'll learn more about three things. One, the difference between the deep web and the darknet. Two, the different types of activities occurring on the darknet and the role of Bitcoin. Lastly, you'll learn about methods for uncovering and strategies for mitigating this abuse.